Hello and welcome to an exciting matchup. Maybe, nah, it's gonna be really good. But I'm Sputnik Cobra. I'm joined with my co-caster Locky11 and, because I always screw up her name because it's such a difficult name. Kit Catastrophe. That sounded really bad. Kit, how are you doing? I think Locky's still with us, but we'll cut it to you. I'm doing really well. Um... It's a bit early in the morning, but um, I'm awake because I had a nap. And now I'm awake and I was like, I might as well cast. I'm full of energy and ready to go. So I'm really excited um, to be here right now. Are you sure of that? Yeah. Definitely. I want, I want I, to hear I, you I, pump I, up those energy levels. <laughs> this is the first VRML 1 cast of today. So... Uh, it's also my first big game as well, uh, being a new caster. It's really exciting. Uh, I, I, I am very nervous, <laughs> but I'm super hyped up. Like, I, uh, I, I, I don't even know how to explain how hyped I am. It, it, it's, it, it's such an honor to be here. Well, I'm glad to have you along. I know the audience is pumped. I know they're happy. And if they're not happy, they're going to get the hose. And I'm going to turn up the water pressure and I'm going to spray you all down until you say you're happy. And I we have Locky with us. Yeah, I'm just uh, here trying to get some invites from the other team. Got my headset on and everything. So but, uh, we'll see. I'm currently not getting any, but we'll wait. Well, we do have a little bit of growing pains and... We do also have the invite link in the live channel, so take that headset off and join it. And I know these players are ready and uh, excited to start playing, and I know everyone in chat's excited. I know that they not, might not be excited about this delay, so they can hear me talk a little bit longer. The prediction just started. 
So you can gamble to your heart's content with your imaginary points. And Cosmo saying hi. What was that, Lucky? I don't think anyone's sad about hearing you talk for longer, Spartanek. Well, let me tell Certainly you a story from my childhood. Okay, oh, I'm not, I'm not going to tell you. A, let me tell you a story from Kit's childhood. <laughs> Kit's childhood. <laughs> and you know <laughs> Kit's childhood, do you? Hmm. I'm not sure about that one. But <laughs> anyway. <laughs> so, so, you're all good to go, Lockie? I think I have a... It's just loading up now, but uh, I'm sure it'd be all right. good to go in a few seconds. So let me hit these teams up with that ready up. And I hope yeah. everyone's excited. Can I get some hype in the chat for this week 11 Saturday matchup? I think it's Saturday. I don't know anymore. So I could make a joke about it being Sunday. Oh, yeah. It's, uh, it's, Kit, uh, it is Saturday. Kit Catastrophe is a time traveler. Always ahead of us. Oh, yes, Sunday. of course. <laughs> It's Sunday. <laughs> yeah, how do time zones work? So I'm gonna hit <laughs> they these. They don't. <laughs> they don't work. You know, it's this weird thing. They like, don't work. You know, the 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 Earth is flat, so you know we shouldn't I have agree. any. We shouldn't have any yeah. time zones. But <laughs> the sun is not real. Sunday's not. You know, days aren't even a thing. Like, who designed this whole no. calendar? The government. The government. It's always them. So, yeah. With that Somewhere being said, in area 51. let me tag these teams. Let us get underway. Yeah. You can hear my keyboard. I am good to go. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make my keyboard even louder. I know you're good to go. I know you're both a little nervous. And I'm going to... Yeah, I'm gonna, a little bit. I'm going to feed off that, uh, that nervous energy. Going to put pressure on me, are you? Also, I'd just like to say hi to Hex in chat and Wolfo. Lol, Zacho. Hello. So, everyone acknowledge the chatters that are calling you out. We got a few seconds. So get your shout outs through. That was me leading into you guys to do your shout outs. I'm just enjoying listening to the players talk. But, uh, Looks like my. Well, there we go. I noticed you, Hex. Of course, I noticed you. I could never not notice you, Hex. And also, hello to Capped Wiggles and Cosmo, I believe. And Dead Skull 9999. Is that enough nines or is that too many nines? And of course, Lol Zeko, T Wolfo, that's everyone, I think. And JG in chat as well. Hello to all and welcome to, of course, this matchup tonight. I could not be more hyped for this. This is going to be a great one. Two teams that I am very familiar with and have loved. I mean, I've played Nante since season two now and uh, Baked Potato, same as. And yeah, these, these guys are great. I, I love watching them and I think it's going to be an interesting game. I'm pretty sure it was quite a close game in the challenger cup if uh baked played the challenger cup that is did they play in the challenger cup i think they did i mean they're high enough ranked at the moment but did they I'm not sure they did but i know they've always been i think they're pretty equally ranked teams uh baked potato being 12th and nantes taking the 13th place with of course ronan's on top in the ladder with 11th place but uh can have a look at their past team history also good to see and the votes seem to be in baked potatoes favor on uh, the website here baked with 20 votes for them winning and nantes with only six votes to them but uh we'll see if nantes can prove everyone wrong with their power and uh pretty sure they've also had some roster changes recently from the original roster obviously uh Caster friends Swift being it on Nantes and also I believe Alacost was main roster and it looks like he's going to be playing tonight uh, which I was not expecting but um, seems that's how it's going to go for now at least so now we're waiting on the teams to ready up I gave them the second ready up call so this isn't on me anymore yeah. this is not on me 
This is not our fault. This is this is not on me. Oh, looks we, like they're listening to you finally, Spotnik. So we have uh, we're gonna start this game. This is not esport versus baked potato. Yeah. This I just is... looked at the previous match history. Nantes have seemed to take in it every time by quite a strong lead. So let's see if Bake can prove everyone wrong and show them what they can do. So it will be Bake Potato winning at least a neutral joust. They're going to lose it in trade possession to not, not sending it down court. It's going to bounce off the floor into the hands of Pixel Craze. Pixel Craze getting stunned out. This is the first VRML 1 matchup of today. This Saturday, Kits in the Future, so it's Sunday for them and off the backboard that Ooh. one's gonna go in ninja knight finding it for two points cut you off what you were saying with ninja knight with a beautiful backboard shot so well placed and that those ones are always hard to save but now it's baked potato with the joust advantage and let's see what they can do with this and let's see if they can hit back off this two-point lead it seems like albifon's coming out as the qb giving it left to you to it seems like your boy sam Sam now bringing it back to Pixel Craze. Pixel Craze all the way back up to Albifons. Albifons taking his time, making some slow passes. Pixel Craze not being able to catch the disc. Maybe a little bit of a wide pass. And it seems like Nantes will capitalize on that. Now, Alakos with the disc, but a steal from your boy Sam goes back to Albifons. So Big Potato with possession with these passes. Not going to be able to complete that one, but picking it up will be Pixel Craze sending it forward. It will be in the upper trap. Alakos getting a slap on it, sending it back. Actually, excuse me, somebody other than Alakos slapped it back to Alakos. So Alakos now sending that through tube, this stack coming through, not able to find it, but readjusting. We Laddie sending it forward now to Ninja Knight. Ninja Knight gonna send that cross, intercepting it will be your boy Sam. And your boy Sam trying to find that clear, but it's not gonna be all the way through. Yeah, brilliant set intercept from your boy Sam. But with that said, Scubs with a long clear going into above Pac-Man here. And let's see who recollects it first. And it will be... No, not your boy, Sam. Alakos will recollect it and try and clear it into the left tube. Now maybe the teams are going to be trying to get some sort of stack here. And if they can get to it first, maybe a goal. But no, your boy, Sam, stalling out Charlie 13 there. And a clear comes out. But no, Ninja Knight now with the disc. Up to Charlie with the disc. And what a shot. Eight meter shot. And that is a three-pointer on a goalie. What an incredible shot from Charlie 13. Charlie 13 able to sneak that one right by. I think the goalie just really wasn't ex like expecting that one. So that will get through their hands. That's now five points on the board for Nant. Albafon's with possession. Albafon's holding from Ness, sending it forward. Scubs now with it. And this nice slow passing on this rollout from Baked Potato might allow them to get by Nant, but they're really taking their time. Pixel Craze sending that one laterally. That pass is going to be off target. So it will be turned over to Nant. Yeah, now Charlie 13 with the disc from a beautiful pass from Alakos. Now all the way down to Wee Laddie. Laddie just taking his time on the floor here, just moving around a bit. And a beautiful pass just underneath the defenders. And another going to Ninja Knight on Pillar. And what's he going to do with it? He's just going to walk it straight up. And a beautiful little juke there, I think, from Ninja Knight. Getting past two of the defenders and just sinking it into that shot. A little bit of a ring off that crossbar right into that pocket. So now a seven point lead to not not really coming out strong and Alakost, I don't know who he's playing in favor of. I, I believe Snowy Blue. So Alakost moving into a coaching position and Snowy Blue being on the main roster. We also see Wee Laddie in for Swift, Swift leaving the roster recently. So Ninja yeah. Knight trying to get that out. That's gonna go in the hands of Albafons and Albafons is gonna find that 11 meter three. Cutting that lead to only four points. Yeah, and that is a good lead to try and... Maybe they're going to get some momentum here. And getting the three-pointer, those are really often hard. And that is definitely going to help them out. Now only two two-pointers needed to equalize. And what a beautiful shot. He manages to just sneak it by all of the defense there. But having said, a bit of a missed pass there. Pixel Craze will be recollecting the disc. And trying to get it clear down into Trench now. So it will bounce off the floor. Now... Entering the bubble of not getting picked up by your boy Sam. Your boy Sam inverting, but not able to find that angle as it dings off the crossbar. This clear attempt coming through from not that's not going to be good. And getting at the ceiling is out Charlie 13. Charlie 13 losing it to that stun from that incoming stack. Now with possessions, Albafons. Albafons sending that up for that cross. Getting it is your boy Sam and finishing it off at two meters. Wow. Now only a two-point lead. So 
a good change in momentum, at least good in terms of Baked Potatoes' perspective. But, you know, Baked Potatoes now really coming back in this first round, and this is looking to be a great matchup, Lockie. They've really gained the momentum here, and maybe we're going to see a comeback here. I mean, we've still got five minutes on the clock, and it could be anybody's game. And having said that, your boy Sam with an intercept. So nearly with the shot following it up, but he will recollect it on Pillar now. Maybe going for the pass to Scubs, but there is Wee Laddie marking that pass. And maybe just a lost tracking there or just a missed clear, but it will come back into the halves of Scubs. Scubs now pushing it into the bubble. Scubs holding this, taking his time. And beautiful pass up to, I'm not too sure who it was because it seems like Ninja Knight may have got Chicago there, but... Still, nevertheless, what a beautiful pass to above goal and instantly slapped down into the goal. So I think he got Chicago all the way from Leeds, which is across the Atlantic Ocean. It's nice to know that that, that meme, that term carries across every region, at least in Echo, the power of the Chicago. So now Scub sending it through for that clear. It's going to bounce around at mid. And now trying to find its Ninja Knight, Finally getting to it at the wall. So, Baked Potato opting not to pressure that one and Ninja Knight taking his time with 3 minutes 50 seconds on the clock. Yeah, maybe they're happy with just running down the clock on a draw and coming back in the later half and making those points that they do score really do count instead of just trying to gain points throughout the whole game. Having said that now, Charlie with the disc, pushing it down to Wee Laddie, but a missed communication there, and it will be in the hands of Scubs. Scubs with a long clear down to the left, but it looks like Nantes will be back there first with Wee Laddie recollecting the disc. Maybe a bit of a missed clear there, or maybe a missed pass, but it goes up, and it looks like Alacost will be recollecting that. Alacost now pushing forward slowly, looking for his options. Gets stunned by your boy Sam, and your boy Sam will probably get a beautiful clear. No, it's not gone too far. Pixel Craze with it. And a beautiful steal from Wee Laddie. So we'll bounce around at the floor under double pressure. Wee Laddie's not going to be able to get it. Interception coming through at mid. Ninja Knight with the stiff arm. Ninja Knight now sending it forward. Losing possession, though. Will be not looking to retrieve it. Will be Charlie 13 immediately getting stunned out, but able to feed that to Wee Laddie. Now Nott's going to send that to the midline and now to the back line to reset. Yeah, and I think we've also got a uh, redeemed hydrate, so... Let's have a drink here. Cheers, Spotnik. You know what I do when you hit that yeah, hydrate DC button? 12. I take a big sip of water, and now with possession, Alakos sending that to Ninja Knight. Ninja Knight driving forward and sending that oh. right in the hands of Albafons. Albafons coming through with that save and the clear. Yeah, Albafons was before. Oh, wait, having said that, they're going to cut me off as I speak because Scubs now with the disc pushing into the bubble, but getting stunned by Alakos. And a steal from your boy Sam. He's looking for the push forwards on backboard, but it dings. And, and now Albifons behind the back, planting that one in. And I think Albifons was before an offender, but then learned recently that he's actually very good in goal. And he's been impressing me all rounds in goal, that's for certain. So now, nine points unanswered from Baked Potato. Not losing a little bit of rhythm. Ninja Knight going to dodge out that oncoming player from Baked Potato and sending it forward to Wee Laddie will be not. Wee Laddie just chucking that one. It's going to be in the bubble, but all four players on defense. Scub is going to find it, sending it forward so they can now look to extend their lead with 90 seconds on the clock. Yeah, it seems like Baked are really wanting this. They are all over the place. They're getting their stacks back in time. But having said that, Charlie 13 with a beautiful dinging and in shot. A nice cut from Charlie 13. Wee Laddie finding the pass, making it all possible. It's now a tie game as we approach a minute on the clock. So this is this is the decider on only this first round. This could easily go to three rounds. This could go to an overtime. We could be here for ages. But now with possession is Baked Potato sending it to Pixel Craze, looking to start their offense. Well, I have all the time in the world for an OT because I love to see it, and especially a three-round OT. So, I mean, it's a close game so far, so I'm really looking forward to seeing what happens. But having said that, your boy Sam now with the disc, trying to get it back out, but it's not going to go the right way. However, that stack is ready and picking it up. Albifons with the disc, with a clear down into Trench. Now picked up by Pixel Craze. Pixel Craze looking to push into bubble, but Scubs will be the one planting in with 30 seconds left. And that is so much of a difference. 11-9 now. 
It looks like this will either be an OT with a two-pointer from Nantz, or maybe Bait will just be taking the game. Scubs with that soft touch, and that's all they need to put them in the lead. And that was a rhyme that I didn't intend. I'm Nat Palador. That's not a pun. So eight seconds on the clock. And now with possession is Baked Potato. That stun coming through, but it doesn't matter. This first round on a comeback is going to go to Baked Potato. 11 to 9. And with that being said, we're going to kick it to Kit Catastrophe on sidelines. We did that. Both teams doing an amazing job here. Both teams, like, their, their players are absolutely incredible. They they know when to slow down the disc. They know when to keep possession, when to move it forward, when to push. There's very few mistakes here. And there, there was just some amazing plays. Like, that backboard at the very start, it was very obvious that... Um, I'm probably going to say this wrong. Nantes noticed that their goalie was on that close side of the goal so that when they threw that backboard it went straight onto the other side it's small things like that that's what's gotten the difference between the two teams here it's really really close um baked they, they were down for the first half of the round and then um realizing where they'd gone wrong fixing those mistakes as they went along and just able to swing it back and I agree completely. I couldn't agree yeah. more. But Kit, it is it is French. This goes out to a Lockie as well. It is not a sport. You don't have to say it like I do. But just for the future, because I do this to everybody. It is not. It, it is not Nantes. I promise it, that I say not. Okay, I might have messed it up a few times. I'll keep it good now. And you remember that. But with that being said, it will be the neutral joust. We'll go into the hands of Nott. Not trying to get it out of their bubble. And I don't mean to correct you guys. I just like to do that to everybody. So Charlie 13, sending that one forward towards the bubble of Baked Potato. Oh, and now Ninja Knight with the disc to the backboard. And beautiful. And just like Kid Castrophe said, another round with Ninja Knight getting the backboard shot at the start. And I think she's definitely right. Those little details of putting it in in different places. I mean, some of the placement on the shots have been brilliant. But now, once again, Nance with the two-point lead. And let's see what Albifons can do with the disc at Nest. So Albifons setting it left. Immediately getting stunned out by that player from Nance. Not able to find that pass as it bounces off the Geo. Is Pixel Craze. Pixel Craze is going to lose it at the floor. Charlie 13 setting that shot. That one's not going to be good. So not looking to recover. Getting it. Alakaz under pressure, getting stunned out. Pixel Craze recovering it and sending it through for the clear. Your boy Sam with an attacking opportunity here. He's got it at a trench. He's looking to push it forwards, but no, it will be stopped by Alakos, but no, picked up by Scubs and Alakos with another stun, denying any chance for an offense. And now he goes through a long clear and it looks like it will be not there with it first. And we laddie planting that easy shot for him in. And Swift coming through in chat, so I'm Spunnik Cobra. That's Locky 11. And the wonderful sideline analysis, sideline casters, Kit, Kit Cat, Kit Catastrophe. I struggle so hard with that. It's just Kit and then Catastrophe. You I know, think it is at least. You know, you gotta, you gotta give me a break. Kit, Kit Cat, yeah, I can't do it. Kit Catastrophe. And yeah. She's doing a brilliant job so far. I believe it's her first cast, and she's doing a sideline cast for quite a high-level match. But having said that, they're going to cut me off. And Wee Laddie with a beautiful steal now going down to Charlie. But Charlie not being able to get the catch, and your boy Sam will get that catch. Looking for a clear here with the stack from Albifons getting the speed. Maybe your boy Sam recollecting his own clear. And a bit of a missed pass there. It goes a bit wide, and it seems like Albi... Oh, Alakos may be picking this one up. Alakos making a slap into the left tunnel. And it will go into the hands of Albafons at the back line. Albafons sending that forward immediately. But look at Not Stack able to recover back into their bubble. Send that one through the tubes for that clear. And Big Potato is going to sail past it, trying to find possession in their portion of the court. But Alakos is coming through from that back stack, sending it now forward along the floor to Ninja Knight. Ninja Knight trying to meet Charlie 13 along the backboard, but it's going to be wide. Alakos coming through with that stun. Alakos to Ninja Knight. Ninja Knight going to send it into the hands of one of the players for Baked Potatoes to be picked up by Alakos, and he's going to find that one in. So, maybe Ninja Knight 
not finding the grab he wanted, and I didn't see much panic from him, but Big Potato able to make the stop, but they lost it to Alicost. Alicost is going to put it in for two. Yeah, that was incredible from Ninja Knight. He, I think he had the slam dunk opportunity on the ring and somehow lost the lost the grab on the ring there, but coming off and managing to make a pass and Alacost securing it. Having said that, a nice reset all the way back to Albifons. Albifons just walking the disc here, nice and calm, going to be pressured, and it looks like that pressure will pay off. Ninja Knight now with the recollect, and it's a long clear. Maybe they're looking to recollect, but Scubs not going to let any clears go past. And it looks like Ninja Knight, though, recollecting the clear. And Charlie pushing into the bubble on Pillar now. Pushing in. And a beautiful... No, never mind. It's a ding. So unlucky. Maybe going for the pocket shot there. And Scubs getting that stun with possession. Now setting that clear through. But not having this forward ad advantage. But they almost quickly lost it. Setting it now through the two for that clear. And getting down court. Alakos with possession. Alakos not able to find that backboard shot. So a good opportunity there for not not able to capitalize on it. Yeah, it looks like maybe Alakos just panicking a little, not taking his time, but uh, nevertheless, they have the disc back and Ninja Knight now with it at bow tie. Ninja Knight over to Alakos, and Alakos gonna walk this one in, pass it up to Charlie 13. Charlie 13 with a zero angle, gonna pass it to Wheeladdy, Wheeladdy, with a one meter shot straight into the bottom pocket. And one thing I'd just like to point out is it's a very similar round to the first round. Nantes Esports coming up with a big lead with five minutes left, but it's really anybody's game. And, and are we going to see a round three or are we going to see another comeback just like last time? I'm open for a round three. I want some more of that sideline analysis from Kit Catastrophe. That sounds so bad. And I'm going to do it every time like that. So now with that clear through mid, able to find it is Scubs on that defense. Scubs trying to find an angle, gonna get stunned out by Wee Laddie. Wee Laddie driving into the bubble. Wee Laddie with the duck. Wee Laddie gonna get that one off the crossbar and into the goal. So now a 10 point lead to, to not. Yeah, and I gotta just mention speaking of Kit, Cast Kit Catastrophe, uh, Captain Wiggle Pants with a great pun. Uh, when we take a break with Kit Catastrophe, take a break with a Kit Cat. This cast not sponsored by Nestle. But <laughs> if they do want to sponsor us, uh, please do reach out to my lawyer and I'll have them contact your lawyer. So now with possession is Pixel Craze. And you know, I didn't even mean to do that joke. It just, it just happened unintentionally. Unintentionally, it is beautiful nevertheless. And now your boy Sam with it. Your boy Sam looking for a pass, but... Alakos just getting that stun. Pass over to Charlie 13, but your boy Sam is on him and he's ready for it, but just missing off the backboard. And that's an opportunity that might have gained them the momentum they needed to bring it back. And that might be costing them. Wee Laddie now with the disc. Passing it over to Charlie 13 in the right tunnel. Charlie walking it up, passing it all the way down to Alakos. Alakos crossing it over to Wee Laddie. Wee Laddie just gonna walk this one up and beautifully plant it up high. Wee Laddie being one of the younger players that's excelling at such a high level. I've been enjoying watching his progression, rising up through the ranks of these teams, and so much skill from Wee Laddie, and he's only going to get better. Yeah, I've seen a lot of roster changes from Wee Laddie and a lot of looking for teams at the moment, and they just took him on Nant, and uh, he seems to be performing brilliantly there. I mean, I congratulated him earlier today on it because I realized I hadn't done it, but he seems to be sitting there nicely having said that again we laddie with a steal passing up to charlie 13 and charlie 13 go for the long shot and it's going to be recollected by we laddie but no a head comes from ninja knight and it will just be lost that would have been 14 nil and maybe a little bit of a mistake from Nan, but they have this 12 point lead now now above the goal is ninja knight ninja knight sending it out of the bubble maybe that was unintentional this is a chance for baked potato two minutes 40 seconds on the clock I think there's enough time. I was never great at math. So now with that clear coming through, Alakos is going to find possession on that back stack. And another clear coming through, changing possession into the hands of your boy Sam. Yeah, I definitely think there's enough time, but they're going to have to get a few threes if they want that. And let's see if uh, Nant can catch on to that and just keep a man back and try and stop those opportunities. But it looks like they're going to lose the disc here to maybe a drop or a head button. I mean, Nantes just want to keep hammering in these points. They just want the win, and they want to show everyone that the first round was wrong and that they can really hammer this in. But can Baked maybe gain some momentum here for the third round and 
try and hammer in the start next time. So that will be in the back quarter of not coming through with the shot it would be your boy Sam, but denying that will be Alakos. So not maintaining the shutout in the second round, looking to force this third round, and they have a very good chance of doing that now off the backboard, but losing it will be Charlie 13, so that defense on point, Baked Potato not allowing not to get any more points just yet, but Charlie 13 is going to lose it after just getting it, and now your boy Sam finding that clear through the tube. Yeah, and whose other stacks will be getting there first? It seems like it will be none with Wee Laddie with the disc. Just going to slowly walk this one up, pace it up, and a clear straight through the top. But Albi Fons is prepared, and he has the disc now. Over to your boy Sam. Your boy Sam making a missed pass maybe to Pixel Craze, but Pixel Craze going to be able to get that shield stun on Charlie. And now it looks like Albi Fons trying to recollect, but it will be Pixel Craze a little bit pressured by Alacost, and Alacost will get the stun. Now looking to recollect and clear. So still, 12 points on the board for Nott. Zero points for Baked Potato. What a turnaround from Nott in the second round. This will be going into a third round, and that will be the decider of this matchup for today. And Nott versus Baked Potato. Baked Potato trying to get into that bubble. They're going to lose possession. Another clear. Actually, a pass coming through from Nott. So, you know, I have no expectations for this third round. Yeah, I mean... I was really hoping for a close third round, but it looks like Nant have got 12 unanswered points. And unless that may have been more there, but just a ding, I think. But uh, I think Nant have got this huge momentum now. And unless Bake can get some points on the board before the round will end, I think Nant may be able to get a lot of points. But having said that, I dropped this. We laddie will recollect and a beautiful shot. What a shot past two defenders with a very hard angle. We laddie. So that will be 0 to 15 in the second round, going into a third round in baked potato versus not. And once again, we will send it to kick. Oh my god, kick catastrophe <laughs> for sideline. Both teams doing a good job. Baked able to pick up on those mistakes that not made, but not just with the momentum, they've absolutely got it going. They're firing off, they're doing an absolute job. They're just, every little mistake that they made, they've gone, right, this is how we got to fix this. We're going to do this. And they answer those mistakes and they just go, right, we're not going to do this. Bang, we're going to fix it. Like, little things that, like a couple missed passes that Bates picked back up and cleared, they were right on top of them with the stacks. Their stacks were so fast in that round. Yeah, I mean, I definitely agree on the point that uh, the mistakes that are being made, they're still the same mistakes, but it's about how Nantes are recollecting. And having said that as well, Wee Laddie with 11 points on the board. As we said, Wee Laddie really doing well and fitting in with this team. And with team dynamics, what matters the most, and with individual player progress as well, what matters the most is the team that you gel with, the team that's supportive. And I yeah. know with the atmosphere and the climate that Alakaz creates with the teams that he coaches, the teams that he captains, it's a very positive environment. And I have full faith that Wee Laddie is in the right team at the right time, and he's going to have a lot of success with Nant. We also have a member of Nant in chat now, Snowy Blue. Hi, hi, buddy. Uh, but uh, yeah, Snowy is. I think Snowy and Wee Laddie are both main rosters, and Alakos is actually just managing this team now. But um, yeah, it looks like Snowy's taking it out on this one. I know he wasn't here for our warm up today. Yeah, so Snowy, what are you doing in chat? Because well, there was a timeout, so we're we're killing some time once again between these rounds. Well, I guess I have to give him a few seconds. To respond, Give but... Give him a few seconds to type, yeah. Oh, he was asleep. He was asleep. <laughs> and Alakos saying, Snowy now owes me 100 squats. So you better start... You better start getting down that number. That yeah. is a... That is a very... That is a very... Uh, Alakost. A very high number of squats. I would not want to do that. And Tiger with the caster shout out. Let me go check. It was supercalifragilisticexpialidocious from Tiger. 
Supercalifragilisticexpialidocious. I can't say Kit Catastrophe, but I can say that you one. You can say that. You just said it. No, I, no, I didn't. You didn't hear you anything. Say like, no. <laughs> You know, I remember there was a time when uh, I think Watchdog uh, put in chat uh, Worcest. Oh, I'm not gonna be able to say this. Worcestershire like, sauce. Like Worcestershire. Yeah. And nice. I went, How did you? Okay, I can't say that. Worcestershire sauce. Yeah. <laughs> I cannot say that for the life of me. You're British. I'm British, but that doesn't mean I can say Worcester. Uh, okay. Worcestershire I can do this. sauce. Worcestershire. Wor Wor no, it's not Worcestershire sauce. It's it's worst oh, oh, it's worst it's, like it's worst sauce it's the worst sauce ever created sauce. that's it Worcestershire sauce i got it I, once i get it i can do it for like five more minutes but if i if i don't get the start one I, i'm doomed no let's that, see like, just call it Worcestershire just... sauce so we got <laughs> Worcestershire so sauce. <laughs> yeah <laughs> but i think we have a ready up here now i'm thinking about marmite or is it is it vegemite Vegemite. Vegemite is also that's used. the, that's the yeah that's that's kit kit. Oh now you've got me messing it up, man. Kit, kit catastrophe. Kit, I'm kit. just gonna call a Kit Kat. I'm I gonna got, call a Kit Kat. I gotta, yeah. I gotta do this inflection. Kit catastrophe. You're gonna hate this. You're gonna hate this. Kit catastrophe. Oh. All right, I'm done now. This is, this is, <laughs> this is it for you now, Kit catastrophe. Every time you do a cast with uh. Sputnik. I can't even say his name now. God, <laughs> what have you done? What have you done? What have you done, Sputnik? You know, I'm, I'm only trying to create the best casters. I'm only trying to get better myself. And I'm only trying to figure out how to say Kit... Kit Catastrophe. Just Kit Kat. <laughs> just go with Kit Kat. We're Kit just going to go with Kit, Kit Kat. It works. Kit, anything like that. And it looks like we have a round start, finally. So this will be the third round in this matchup between Baked Potato and Non-Esport. I'm Spudnik Cobra. That's Locky 11 and Kit Catastrophe on sidelines. And with this neutral joust underway, it will be won and quickly lost by Baked Potato. Now with possession is Alakos on the back line. Yeah, Alakos going to go for a clear there right into the right tunnel, but... Easily picked up by Albifons and Pixel Grace. Albifons now going for a clear and another pickup. It's just going back and forth here. Let's see who can get the first point. Nantes, are they going to carry on that momentum or have Baked Potato had a conversation? Are they going to try and fix what they're doing and maybe solve it and, you know, get some points going and maybe build up some momentum? So now with possession at the floor, your boy Sam not going to get that pass, but looking to retrieve it at the ceiling will be your boy Sam getting it. Gonna get stunned out, not now with possession. Getting past those two players, sending it forward to Alakos. Actually, Charlie 13, Charlie 13 not able to find that shot. So we'll be picked up by Baked Potato, trying to get it out of their bubble. Sending that one forward, that back stack from Nant is not gonna be able to find it. It's now in the bubble of Nant, but being able to get back on defense and showing it right there is Nant. Yeah, Wee Laddie has been performing brilliantly, as we've said many times now. And with a long clear, it looks like it will be your Sam, boy Sam collecting it. No, maybe Charlie 13. No, it's going to be Scubs. Your boy Sam with it now. Alakos trying to reach for it. Alakos does get it. Charlie in the hands. And a good save from Albifons. Just as we were saying, this man is on fire. He knows he can save those, and he does. And three players from Nod are just going to go right past that one onto defense. But getting the stun... Will be Charlie 13. Charlie 13 now with possession. Sending that one forward to Wee Laddie and still scoreless. Almost two minutes off the clock and we haven't seen any points on the board. Yeah, it seems like it's a very tense match. Having said that, Alakos with an open goal and he will plant that one. What a beautiful shot. Just drifting backwards. I find those are often the hardest to hit, but Alakos clearly not in, having any trouble with that. And having said that, the three-point start, that is a good lead to have, and they will carry on that momentum from the second round. So the first points on the board, just over two minutes off the clock. Baked Potato getting shut out in round two after coming back from seven points deficit that not had. So they had their timeout. They talked it through they cool down 
and they're looking much more composed right now as they send it back to Scub. Scub's now down to the floor, into the hands of Pixel Craze. Pixel Craze with the drive, but Alakos not even in goal getting that stop. Alakos clearly remembers his goalie skills, and even when he's not in goal, he's saving those. And now it looks like Wee Laddie with the recollect. And he is going to look for his options, maybe going to make a back pass all the way to Ninja Knight. Ninja Knight just going to take his time here, looking to pass it back to Wee Laddie in this 1-2 chemistry. And he's on pillar and he might be able to duke it up, but no! A beautiful pass to Charlie13, who of course will be planting another shot. Charlie13 really does place his shots well. We've seen a three-pointer on goal from him already and some dinging into the goal. A little bit of dinging, a little bit of ringing. And some points on the board. So now a five-point lead to Nott. Albafons with possession. Albafons is going to get it past that stack from Nott. And another pass coming through. That one's going to hit the Geo and not meet, its intended, not meet its intended target. But it will be a loss of possession at lower trap. That one will result in another loss of possession on that clear. So Bay Potato trying to find some momentum right now. And they may be struggling just a little bit. I don't want to cast or curse them. But they might, they might be able to turn this one around. Scubs now has this to your boy Sam, and your boy Sam will ding that. That could have been the first two points that they got, and that would have brought it back to like, now they have 17 points, I think it is, unanswered, and that might have broke that streak. And having said that, now not looking for an attacking opportunity, and it will be Wee Laddie recollecting this, trying to juke it up, but he just misses the throw, and he will recollect it, never mind, but your boy Sam on it, Charlie now got it, and a ding, what a beautiful attempt at shot. Zero angle there, and he just dings it, Wee Laddie juking his way up, and a beautiful pass, then we Charlie 13 after that beautiful cut in and nearly a zero angle there but charlie has no problem with those and paper cutting through that defense on that very slim margin like you recommended probably the best thing that i like from your casting is that zero angle i am totally stealing that because that is just that's crisp uh the zero angle yeah i mean they they are the hardest shots and definitely need to be mentioned once uh someone makes it because i mean it's so difficult to hit those shots, and I always struggle with it. Um, but when I do see them come out, they are very impressive. Especially because they're really hard to save. But, oh no! Another situation dinging from shoulder from your boy Sam. But having said that, a missed catch from Charlie. Two missed catches, and it will be a steal from Albifons. But Alakos, stunning. I think Albifons out and making the clear. Your boy Sam, recollecting the disc. And once again, we see the seven-point lead when we're like into the five-minute round. And Albifons with the disc. Just walking it up slowly with a clear. And picking it up will be Pixel Craze. Pixel Craze now setting up to Ness. That's not going to be on target. And just struggling. I'm going to say that confidently now. And it maybe not struggling just there. Now below the goal. And Pixel Craze is going to find that one. And that's what they need. That's the start of something. This could be a third round comeback like we saw in the first round. It's the same situ situation. And I need to hydrate. Someone hit me with that hydrate. Yeah, I'm asking for that in chat right now. I am, they're saying I'm a very passionate caster and I need to hydrate. My throat is starting to hurt. And but PC12. It seems like Ninja with the disc. PC12 Junkie, you are the MVP. You are my most beloved person in chat. Hitting me with that hydrate. Thank, Thank you, you so much. Second hydrate from you as well. And cheers to you, Spotnik. Cheers to you as well. And now off the wall, it will be to Scub. Scub's going to get stunned out. Still trying to get it out of their backcourt is baked potato but they put two points on the board they can do this and now sending it back to albafons albafons now on the floor to your boy sam and nice clean passing and they're getting it out of their back court in a very composed manner they get that clear through they just have to get down court with their back stack and getting it now actually getting his scub scub is gonna get stunned out double pressure right there pixel cray is gonna have it now sending it to that oh in the hands of ninja knight oh man what a beautiful save from Ninja Knight, and I think that Baked really needed that. I mean, they started to gain momentum, and now we Laddie with the disc, he might be able to get some points here, and he's on Ness, and he dukes it around. Pixel Craze with a stun. Scub's getting the clear into left tunnel. It looks like Alakos will be trying to recollect here, but no. It seems like Scubs will have it again. Scubs going for the clear with the stack prepared, and it seems like it will be not with it first. Maybe the stack getting stunned out on Baked's side. So a stun will come through from your boy Sam. Your boy Sam now setting that up to the intended target at Bowtie. But they're just 
so close with everything. In this third round, it's been dings on very slim margins, and your boy Sam gonna find those two points. Now only a three-point lead to not, but we've seen so much in this round from Baked Potato where they get these very difficult angles, these slim margins, and they're dinging it, or they just are inches away or centimeters away from a pass. And they're just almost there, but they're able to get that one. So now only a three-point lead, two minutes on the clock. They can do this. They can force. Yeah. That, well, they don't even have to force anything. They can force it overtime. They can take this round. They can do anything they want. Yeah, I mean, as you said, it's definitely some just some little silly mistakes, just maybe dinging some two pointers or little tight missed passes, but it's gonna cost them because they've lost a lot of points this round, especially. Maybe it's the pressure of playing such a strong team, Nant Esports, which they have never beaten before, and now coming so close in the round three. I mean, I'm sure they'll be happy to take them to round three, but can they take the game? It is certainly not over, especially with this attacking play now. It looks like your boy Sam with the disc down to Pixel Craze. Pixel Craze just trying to walk this one in, but your boy Sam with it going to walk into the bubble. But a stun from Charlie 13. So this clear coming through from Nan. Nan now stacking down court, but they're behind Baked Potato. But Baked Potato is going to get it, and a little bit of juking will allow them to find the clear. But that one's going to bounce off the Geo, and luckily back in the hands of Pixel Craze. Pixel Craze getting stunned out. Not now with possession. Less than a minute on the clock. Not setting it forward to Charlie 13. Charlie 13 with a shot, and that one's not going to be on target. But retrieving it will be Ninja Knight on that rebound. Ninja Knight now to Wee Laddie. Wee Laddie is going to take that one in for two points. So now this lead is a little bit larger for Baked Potato. 30 minutes on the clock. Is it possible, Locky? I don't think it is. I mean, it'd have to be some magic that comes through here to regain this game. But what a beautiful play. Charlie 13 tried to go for another three-pointer, but a beautiful recollect. And that's just like Kit Kat said. With the mistakes, they're still coming through from both sides. But it's how they react to those mistakes. And Scubs now with perhaps a spin shot attempt that's just gone a bit high. Pixel Craze with it now, trying to give it up to... But Charlie with an intercept. Charlie trying to get the clear, but it's going to come off double diamonds. Albi Fons walking that one up, being patient. Five seconds on the clock, and it will be your boy Sam dinging the last shot. But Albi Fons will not come out without a bang. And that is a strong shot into the two-point bubble from eight meters. Kit, Kit Catastrophe, tell me what's going on. This game, it's so close. Like, even with the difference in score, it's so back and forward. Um, both teams doing really, really well. Um, Baked Potato, just unfortunately, I think they started panicking a little bit with the disc. They seemed a little bit more rushed than in previous rounds where they were cool, calm and collected. They just seemed to rush it a little bit and um, not seem to just absolutely play on that and push them to their limits. And that's where I think they had that bit of an edge. So in these yeah, three definitely. in these three rounds, we'll see the first round, a comeback from Baked Potato, 11 to nine in favor of Baked Potato. Then Baked Potato getting completely shut out in the second round by a 15 point margin. And the third round, they were almost there on so many plays, but they just couldn't execute. And they would eventually put six points on the board against Nantes, nine points. But really, that doesn't tell the story. What a fantastic game from both of these teams. Well played from everybody. And I'm, I'm pretty happy with that one. Yeah, it was a great game. I mean, the only thing I can see from both teams is that Nantes every single round came up with like an eight point or six point or seven point lead and it is very dangerous to let Nantes have that because then you're playing a comeback game and it didn't seem like Bake can come back in the last half with some good time wasting i remember the first two pointer of the third round came in after like two minutes and 30 seconds which is definitely running down that clock and after Nantes get that strong lead there's not much Bake potato can do about it but really great game, and we love to see a round three. I couldn't agree more. I couldn't agree more with everything you all said, and I'm so glad that you guys have joined me on this cast, or I joined you. I don't know who had the initiative first, but with all these new casters, all of you showing so much initiative, so much potential, so much creative energy, I love it. 
I love you all. I love the viewers. I'm it gonna get a little. Our pleasure. I'm gonna get a little bit it's of emotional. I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna get emotional. You could have got a little bit of emotional last time. Uh, okay. <laughs> but, uh, no, also, that was a, <laughs> a fantastic game. Alacost in chat saying I'm... thanks for the cast, guys, and it is a pleasure. Alacost, it was a brilliant game to watch. Absolutely, and I'm glad you played in it. And Snowy, I wish you played in this one, but enough of the, enough of the chit chat. So with that being said, I'm Sputnik Cobra. That has been Locky Eleven, and joining us on sideline is Kit Kat. You know I had it, and Don't then I lost do it. Again. it. <laughs> you could have just ended at Kit Kat. You could have played it off like like you meant to just say Kit Kat. Kit Catastrophe. Thank you so much you for go. joining us. And I'll echo that sentiment again. I'm so glad that both of you have joined the casters. And and I'm so proud. Oh, pleasure to cast so with proud. you, Spotnik. All right. All right. And we're have done. Have a great day to you too, Alakos. Right, enough theatrics. <laughs> we're done. This has been a great matchup. Baked Potato versus Not. Not taking it in three rounds. We thank you all for watching. Have a great day. Have a great evening. Kit Catastrophes, a day in the future. Hmm. They're going to tell us what's happening time with, over there. with all the uh, future games. And we're going to place our predictions on what they tell us. But yeah, with that said, with that, woman. this is the this is the last one. With that said, with that said, Lock Eleven. <laughs> with that said, thank you all for watching. Yes. Have a great day. Take care. Season 3 of VRML Echo Arena is brought to you by HyperX, Rebuff Reality, Asterion Products, ProTube VR, VR Cover, Fixed Gaming, and VRWare.net.